Tommy Coombs and I'm a, a community development worker and I manage Bluebell Community Development Project. My name's Paul Holmes, I'm a community development worker with Bluebell CDP. So good morning everybody, so and welcome uh, to, to, to the bungalow of Bluebell. So like this, this place is called um, the bungalow, the wellness sanctuary and I think that's that's what kind of most people get when they walk in here. It's it's a calming effect. You can normally hear the birds singing and all that kind of stuff. It's really a relaxing place. So, uh, so uh, we got this bungalow uh, as a gift from Dublin City Council uh, as part of the regeneration of Bluebell. Uh, we were looking for uh, a space to create sort of a kind of a wellness sort of uh, a place for for older pe older men in particular to come. This this was uh, in bits now. It was like they were going to demolish it, and uh, and a bit of land around it. And we said we take it, and we've developed it from that. So all local groups and organisations supported uh, pulling this together. As, but the, the majority of work was done by the, the project that I managed, the community development project, and volunteers, uh, and particularly uh, special needs volunteers. Uh, men and women, boys and girls uh, that would be uh, disabled. And a lot of blood, sweat and tears have, have gone into this work <laughs> over the last two years. But it's, it's a space where people come. It's a sanctuary. It's sort of really good that you come at this moment because what we're doing here is that we're, we're fitting a pump to the pond. We, uh, we have tadpoles and that in the pond, and that's all part of the bungalow story. Uh, so what we're, we're planning to do this morning is such a beautiful morning. I'll just give you a quick tour. We just walk around this way, we'll show you where we are here. So in there, we have what we call our autism unit. Uh, we're going to be using this unit, uh, this unit for autistic children and families. So when the group meets in the bungalow here, and if any of the children get upset, we can take them to a quiet space. And we're going to have sensory stuff here. So this is our kitchen. You'll be having your lunch here now, yeah? Right, straight through. We have a, a bath, a toilet here, and we have a, a, a bathroom here, and they're all uh, wheelchair accessible. And uh, we'll be opening this space here for homeless uh, men on Saturday mornings that they come in and have a shower and have a breakfast and take some clothes with them on Saturday morning. So it's a really good little space for that. All right, so out here, so out here we come out. Just mind the step coming up. That's our store there. This is the patio the men built. The men built this patio themselves. The pond is nice, isn't it? Yeah, so the men built the pond as well. We have our tadpoles in there, you'll be able to have a look at them. But that's a stage there, we have a performing stage. This is a bug hotel. Uh, so uh, well, so we, we, uh, we created a space here so for, for insects to, to come. So like, you know, um, uh, earwigs and snails and all that. They'll all gather here over the next year or so. And um, wouldn't the bug hotel be, be called the bugalo? Bugalo. That's good, isn't it? <laughs> you see, I think outside the box, I like it. And this is where we're growing stuff. I won't say too much about this, the men will explain that themselves. Well, so we have carrots there, uh, radishes, more carrots, onions, what are they? Carrots as well. Oh, more onions, so we we'll ate loads of onions up there for the summer. <laughs> good onions and uh, scallions, like scallions in the salad. So there's the lettuce there. Another couple of weeks we'll be eating them on, on a nice bit of mayonnaise on them. See the lettuce? And there's a bit of parsley and there are more little spring onions. And there's we'll we'll beans here. We'll just have to plant seeds here. These are a lot of little peas coming up. Peas. And there'll be loads of peas there in the summer. And there's herbs and all the rest of these. Herbs, are, yeah, herbs and stuff. So it all just grows. We're waiting on more topsoil to fill these up and we put more lettuce in there and, and stuff like that for, that you eat with the salad. And we have all our apple trees in the back here. We have apple trees, plum trees. Why do you think it's good to grow food? Well, it's good to be self-sufficient. You know, we were so used to just going down the shopping centre and buying stuff in a plastic bag. It's all done processed for you. But when you grow your own food out here, it's like you can taste the difference in the in the onions. Paul tried onions last year and the carrots and all. He said they were fantastic. You'd never get them tasted like that in the farms because you kind of you commercially grow them. They use all the fertilizers and all. 
But if you grow them organically, it's, uh, it seems to be nicer. And they taste better because you can see them grow. <laughs> uh, a, few, a few people have come in. A few people have come in and taken and taken cabbage yeah. and taken onions. Last year. And, yeah. and, and the, the, the kale was, yeah. was gorgeous. Yeah. I think we need to get back to thinking about that now. That maybe we should be we should be growing our own stuff. Yeah, a great satisfaction out of it as well. Like rather than going to a supermarket and buying a, a bag of carrots, yeah. if you actually grown your own carrots and, and the taste like I had the carrots here last year and they were the sweetest carrots we've ever tasted. Plus the potatoes we, we had here were the best potatoes we've ever tasted. Yeah. They really were. Yeah, you know, so I, I think what Tommy's saying, we need to go back to that. Like, you know, if anybody has a like a garden out the back, you, could, you, could, box, you could do that yeah. out your back garden. Yeah. You know what we're doing here. A couple of window boxes, you can grow little vegetables, it's uh, herbs and things like that. You just start it off small, but it's it's hard work. But you get the benefit at the end of it all when you see the plants growing and all. And you're saying another couple of weeks they're going to be in the pot. So that's what you're looking forward to the taste. And I, yeah, and I think I think it's I think it's important, to, particularly to uh, younger people and that that maybe not uh, familiar with you know looking at you know uh, growing your own vegetables or growing your own food. Yeah. That 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 actually to see how it's done. That it can be you know if you're if you have a small garden you can use raised beds. Mm -hmm. You know so you can grow potatoes, you can grow onions, you can grow cabbage, you can grow uh, really anything, anything. You know, anything. And uh, and it, as Paul says, the taste is so is, is beautiful. Right? So so yeah, I think it's it's important that we continue to do that. I got all the clothes. Are you going to dress the scarecrow? Okay, can we just well, the lads are doing that? Can we go over to the scarecrow? He's getting jeans and he's getting a nice check short. Dead. If we can get it on him. Give him shoes. I mean, it's not like he can move nice. anywhere. I just want to make sure this stays on him because I don't want it to blow up. And what do you want this? Please for his jeans. Come up his jeans. What's his name? Gerald. Call him Gerald. 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 Gerald the farmer. Yeah, Gerald. Gerald the farmer. Gerald. Call him Gerald. What about Bob the farmer? Bob. Billy Bob. The Bill. scarecrow. No, Bob the Billy builder. Bob. Billy Bob. Billy Bob. Yes. Yeah. Will we go with Billy, Billy Bob? What do you think? Joe. 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 Joe is good. Joe the Bob. Joe is good. Joe, Bobby Billy Joe. Bob Joe. What about Bobby Joe? Billy Bob. Bungle Bill. Joe. What? Bungle Joe. Bungle Joe instead yeah. of bungalow. Bungalow Bungalow no, listen, Joe. isn't Bungle Joe, Billy Bob Joe? Yes, all three names combined. Billy Bob, Bungle Joe. No yes. <laughs> yes. I'm a news reporter. What's up, guys? We're back. We've Another just given episode. life to Billy Bob Bungle. Thank you. And now uh, we're looking at the pond. This will be the first time that we've had the pump uh, walking in the pond. And it's great to have a lady Lord school here. For, for this occasion and we're hoping that when Owen turns it on that it actually works because he's been six months <laughs> trying to get it going but uh, we'll see what happens okay so what we do is there's all the students here yes is everybody yes. here yes yes breaking you guys breaking news breaking news breaking news we are we are going where's to see the pump. You? First, Harry. The pump is about to work. And, where's, um, where's Eddie McGrath? It, it yeah. might work. It Eddie might be a bill. It's a 50-50. 50-50. OK, oh. ladies and gentlemen, we're going to count down from 10. 10, 10 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Look up. Oh. The pump is actually working. Oh my gosh, guys. Oh yeah. It feels a bit calm. Yes, calm. That's the idea. That's the idea. Well, I think it's like a very good feeling to like with like the pants and people. It's like very a nice community. It's a good thing to take off your mind if you're going through the stress at home and all. You can just have something to take off your mind. Yeah, I think I, I agree. I think having somewhere to come is that's calm. That's calm. It's all that is.